Welcome to the West Winds Breviary. We trust these short online services will inspire you and ennoble you, giving you hope and courage as you shadow God in the redemption of the world. Morning, everybody. Thanks for being with us today for the West Winds Breviary. What pleases our God? Beauty? Achievement? Wealth? No. God loves those who serve. Colossians 1, verse 19. For in him, Christ Jesus, all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell. Now, this one little verse is in the middle of a long poem celebrating the preeminence of Jesus, talking about how spectacular Christ is, how universally powerful and cosmic Christ is. But this, this verse 19 just strikes me a little bit. For in him, in Christ Jesus... All the fullness of God, meaning, meaning everything, not a little bit of God, not a divine spark, all of God was in, all of him was pleased to dwell. And it's that word, it's that word pleased that really struck out to me, or stuck out to me, that God, God, was, God was happy to be incarnate. God was thrilled to take on flesh and walk among us. God likes to be with us, and God was pleased to pour all of God's self into God's self, in Jesus Christ. And, and I got looking at this word pleased in the New Testament. Like Matthew chapter 3, Jesus is getting baptized. He comes up out of the water, the heavens part, a dove descends upon his shoulder, a light shines from heaven, and the voice of the Father says, this is my son with whom I am well pleased. Later on in Matthew chapter 12, the same kind of things happen. The voice from heaven appears, behold, this is my beloved son in whom my soul is well pleased. And then, and then also we see that those same kind of things happen in all the synoptic gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke. We see over and over again the, the Father God being pleased with the Son. But then we also see in Luke 12 that, that Jesus himself says to his followers, Fear not, my children, for it is your Father's good pleasure. Same word. It's your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. And you realize God is pleased to be pleased, and God is pleased with one particular quality in Christ and in you and I, and that quality is service. What pleases God? Service. Service. Giving of ourselves to others because God has given himself to us. Giving of ourselves to others in the same way and to the same degree 
that God has given himself to us, which is to say what? Say give and give and give till you can't give anymore and then keep giving because the more you give, the more God will fill you up so that you're continually replenished to keep giving and keep giving and keep giving. This is where we find our godliness in serving others. You won't find your godliness in being absolutely perfect because you can't do it. Even if you could stop yourself from sinning entirely, your ego would run amok and you'd screw it up in some other invisible way. No, no, no. The only way you find real godliness is by drawing deeply on the spirit of Jesus to serve. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ gave his life for us. We ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. I mean, this, this is real life. This is real love. And if you want to please God, serve. Serve with him and for him. All I ever needed was a simple life I know that deep inside But I'll admit that I've been pulled away A couple of hundred times I hear your voice in a baby's breath See a smile in their eyes So I give this world my best blank stare Cause I know what I need to find I find peace in your arms So I wave bye-bye Troubles take me down Swing low, sweet chariot Boot me on, I'm not done yet And I know there's a crown To give me grace It's what I have And it's me it's found Every day has enough trouble Of its own Heaven I worry about Lesser things Shake this salt And give this world a taste of the child that you bring Hold me tight through the storm So I went by by Before these troubles take me down to give me grace It's what I have and it's me it's found Our Father enjoys giving gifts to His children and watching us play. He delights in our pleasures and empathizes with pain. Grace and peace, everybody. Thanks for being with us today on the West Winds Breviary.